time a, uh, a disciple of Prabhupada went to his room in Vrindavan. I won't mention his name, he's a nice devotee, but he was a GBC man at that time and his hair had grown out a little bit, uh, well, to cover myself, I'll say a little longer than mine is right now. And uh, when he walked into Prabhupada's room in Vrindavan, Prabhupada immediately said, oh, he said, the hippie seeds are sprouting again. <laughs> Another time, another relevant point, which is sort of, I hope, adding up to present a picture. One time we were walking with Prabhupada in Waikiki in Hawaii, and uh, <clears throat> I think Guru Kripa said to Prabhupada that uh, Prabhupada had won our heart, or we had, because Prabhupada's personality was so attractive, we couldn't help but love him. And Prabhupada smiled and said, yes, that was my trick. <laughs> One time in Venice Beach, and uh, we just finished our walk and we would we'd come back to the parking lot at Venice Beach and uh, Prabhupada would always lead us in a foot stamping uh, moment exercise. Prabhupada would always go and he would, he would stamp his feet to get the sand off his shoes and so we would all stamp our feet. <laughs> so just as we were all stamping our feet, some large dogs came. They looked sort of like small horses, like really big dogs. And I remember we had, there were, uh, Ramananda was there, other physically large devotees were there. And uh, everyone was bewildered, no one knew what to do because these dogs were very large. It looked like they could, they could just literally swallow you limb by limb. So while we were all bewildered looking at each other, it was Prabhupada that stepped forward fearlessly laughing and chased the dogs away <laughs> with this cane. <laughs> So Prabhupada could deal, was fearless, he knew how to deal with every living being. Another time, a poignant moment, I was with Prabhupada again in New Vrindavan in 1972, and he was on his mat taking massage outside. He would take open air massage every day, taking advantage of the nice climate. <clears throat> and uh, somehow or other, I don't know from where they came, but there were a few kittens who were playing near Prabhupada, and they were, they were wrestling with each other and rolling around, you know, little kitten's plate. And as they were wrestling and rolling, they actually rolled right onto Prabhupada's lap. And so I, of course, have been brought up in the uh, hard-nosed, take-no-prisoners, brahmachari school, <laughs> where dogs and cats were sort of the enemy, they were hopelessly polluted and so on. And we hadn't even read yet the Chaitanya Charitamrita about Shiva and Andasena and the dog. So I thought, I thought, oh my God, these embodiments of pollution have rolled onto Prabhupada's lap. <laughs> but Prabhupada was actually very kind and he began to pet the cats, the little kittens. And he was actually very affectionate. And then he looked up at me and said, look, he said, even here there is love. And then I understood that, that our original love for Krishna <clears throat> our original love for Krishna becomes perverted, as we know, in the form of material lust and all kinds of material desires. But then when Prabhupada saw these little kittens affectionately embraced and rolling around, he could see, he could see, even within these kittens, their original love for Krishna. So he said, even here there is love. And then he said, and made another statement which I've always remembered, and I think is very, very important for any devotee that has responsibility, either as so-called leader as a mother, as a father, and so on. Prabhupada said, if you, because the kittens were just lying there very innocently in Prabhupada's lap, and he was petting, petting them. And Prabhupada then said, if I put my head on your lap and you cut my throat, that is the greatest sin. If I put my head on your lap and you cut my throat, that is the greatest sin. In other words, if someone has any kind of responsibility where an, another innocent person takes shelter and the person with that, it doesn't matter what responsibility it may be. If we exploit that person or abuse that person, Prabhupada said that is the greatest sin. Uh, one Mataji came in and asked Prabhupada if he was present in his pictures. And Prabhupada said, yes, therefore my disciples commit so many offenses. Je anilo prema dana koruna prachu.